going on everybody physio trader here um, unfortunately my battery was running low today so I did not capture it uh, on the the recording um, I actually thought I did but I, I don't know it just timed out or I, I might have just not done it in previous videos I talked about when my my actual laptop died mid trade or oh, I, I was trading but I there's nothing was actually an open position but anyway um, so let's jump into it and take a look so uh, started off traded Nvidia twice you can see here on the order box um, took one trade right here I thought we were gonna get a break on that VWAP this was the break I thought we were getting we did not I cut my loser um, just went long 200 shares um, I hot keyed in which I would trying to kind of specifically stay away um, now the daily looks good everything looks good for upward potential so but there's still a sell-off going on so um, got in got out closed that one and uh, it continued to fall felt very confident and good in that um, it started sending out buy orders at 278 um, of course we never hit there 278 75 was the low um, after we broke through this upper wick really quick I hot keyed back in for 300 shares long and then I closed out, I threw out an order to close out at 282 for the first 100 out of 300. Um, I actually, I swear, I changed this from 100 to 50. So from 100 to 50, and then I closed out, and then I closed out the um, once more, and um, and then I closed out once more. Thought that left me 100 shares, but turns out, I, I, I guess I did not. And so I closed out the whole position right there. And actually, I did close it out too soon. Um, again, in hindsight, this thing was really stalling on the level twos, and there's so much downward pressure that I thought we were just going to get bounced right off of this, you know, mental line I drew in my head. Um, and then the spy and everything was still going down. Now, flash forward, a couple minutes later, the spy is coming back up. The cues, which is on another screen, that's coming back up. And um, so those last hundred shares, which again I thought I still had a hundred left, I thought I was scaling out by fifties those last hundred shares uh, we got stuck off of this 10 uh, simple moving average and then as soon as we broke this we just shot up real quick came back down of course bounced off the 50 period at this point and now we made a, a run just recently towards uh, 287 and change so um, I'll be honest uh, I was watching the PL, saw that this thing went from minus 313 to green and I I've got patience. I have to go see. I literally have to leave in, in just a couple seconds. But um, uh, disappointing, nevertheless, because I thought I was going to have more time to scale out. Um, plus, I also I mean, it was only 300 shares. Uh, the first one was 200. Glad I did just 200 on that first one. I wasn't as convinced. The second one, I felt, okay, the, the spy has been beaten down, but it's not going down anymore. I'm going to go long. I, I really did think I had 100 shares left. I thought I scaled out 100. I knew the 100 was there. And then I thought it was 50-50, and then I was going to put a stop in for the next um, 50. Uh, well, one more 50, and then just follow it up with a stop. So that was kind of the goal. Um, you know, to say I would have played this perfectly is, is a total lie. But, um, you know, heck, this last one I got out, even if I would have made another, you know, up to here, another $2 per share. Um, and looking at the PL, basically, so, <clears throat> well, I guess, here, let me put these side by side. Um, looking at the PNL essentially, so minus 313 plus 138 plus 176 plus 197.50, and look what I'm closing out green 198.51. So literally, um, these two, you know, covered my loss. So 200 for 200, almost identical, and then just 100 shares making all of my profit there. So um, not perfect, and not that there's a, a learning lesson, but that's. I kept my risk small, and um, because of it, I just I closed out my risk and, and really just wanted to make it a, a short, positive winning day. Like I said, I do have a lot of work to do today, probably going to be around a 14-hour day. So um, nevertheless, that is it for me. Um, if you do have any questions, please reach out in the comment section. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.